All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add accessories to players in game. So here we have a backpack. If I click the little button, boom, I got a backpack on and I got glasses. Let's take a look at our face here. Now the glasses are on and then I got hair. We'll swap out the hair. That's pretty cool. So I'll get a fresh world and you can build along with me and add accessories to players. All right, so here's my fresh world. Let's go ahead and make a stand for our accessories. So I put a, a part in here. I'm gonna look to see where it's positioned so I don't have to run too far for it. So let's put this near, near the center. So I'll say zero, 10.5 and 10. I don't wanna land on it either. There we go, it's way over here. So you can go ahead and hit terrain, hit part, click the F key and then you frame in. That works on Unity too, if you ever do any Unity programming. All right, now I'm gonna, I have collisions on. I'm gonna increase the size of this part. Let's call it stand first, so we'll say stand. So don't forget what it is. Let's anchor it and we'll go down to size. We'll make this five by five by five. And let's put a button down here. So I'll put a, I'll put a cylinder in here. Cylinder, that's gonna be my button. And we'll change the size of that to 0.2 on the X one and one and let's change the orientation oh anchor it here's anchored let's anchor it here's orientation i'm going to change the orientation 90 degrees in the y so now it looks like a button now i'm terrible at lining things up so i'm going to go to my stand i'm going to save the position control c i'm going to copy the position go to button go to the position on the button control v and it puts it right in the center uh, collisions should have been off. That would have been better. Let's do it again. Control V and now it's inside. So now I can just pull it out. Now that's centered. All right. I'm only interested in centering it on the horizontal axes. Hit collisions again, push it up, push it into, and then push it up a little bit. So now it's centered horizontally on my stand. Let's change the color of that. I get say green. Cool. Now let's add an accessory to it. So go to a toolbox and hair is is usually pretty well done people know how to do hair attachments pretty easily so i'm going to put my messy hair that i had in my in my demo let's see, go ahead and close that i'm going to move this up a little bit and then i'm going to change messy black hair to just item All right so i don't have to change my script a lot when i'm giving things out i'm going to open this up i'm going to take a look at my handle so my handle I want to anchor that so it floats above the stand. We're going to have to remember to unanchor it or our person's going to freeze into the ground. Let's take a look inside the handle. Check for any crazy scripts, but there are none. That's good. And this hair attachment is how the humanoid will know where to put the hair on your player. So it looks for hair attachment on your player and it'll, it'll line it up. That's pretty handy. So now we have our item, which is our hair. We have a button, we have a stand. Right click, now they're all selected. Group it, let's call this hair stand. Cool, we got a hair stand. Now let's add a script to that. Go S, script. And I'm gonna call this uh, give ACC. And make it a little bigger. We need our button, right? Because we gotta get our click event. So that's script.parent and dot button. There we go, we go down a level. And on the button, I'm gonna put a click detector. So hit the plus sign, oh, here's a click detector. And that'll be handy. So we'll say local clicker equals button click detector. All right, and then on the clicker, I'm gonna do a max activation distance. Of 25. I'm going to do another variable for my item, which is my hair in this case. So I'll say local item script.parent, and then that's my item, my accessory. So let's do a function, a local function. I'll call this give accessory. Player will be passed in because it's going to be called when the clicker fires. So I'll do my clicker dot mouse click colon connect give accessory whoops give accessory get rid of those two extra parentheses now because this is a, a click detector when give accessory is called player will be passed in the one who 
who press the button. All right, so now I need my character. So I'll do a local char player, and I'm just going to do character because we're running around in the world. I'm going to assume that the character's there. I'm not going to do a uh, character added weight or anything. I haven't had any trouble with this. So I'll do local hume. Likewise, I'm just going to do a dot humanoid. All right, now we have to pop off the hair that we already have. Maybe we don't have any hair, so we have to do a check. I've done this in other videos. So we'll do four I and V in pairs. We're going to get the character and we're going to get all the children of the character. Accessories will be part of that set. And then we're going to loop through it. Oh, this is pairs. Four I and V in pairs. And then this is everything that's on the character. The V is going to have the, the items like uh, the hair and it's going to be the feet and the arms, the torso, things like that. I is not going to be used. That's just going to be a counter. It's going to be one, two, three, four. So it's, it's a key value pair if you know what that is. If you don't, that's okay. I'm going to put an underscore here and that denotes that we are not going to use the I. We are only going to use the V because that's the item. So I'll say V. If V is a accessory, so if it's like a torso, we're going to leave it alone. Then uh, accessories have handles. So we'll say if V handle, and they also have attachments. So I'm going to look for, say find first child that's a hair attachment. Right? And if it's not, if it doesn't exist, that's fine. It'll return nil. And then this if statement won't fire. But if it does find the hair attachment, let's destroy it. So V destroy. Cool. Let me get rid of this so we have more screen space. Now, when we get to the end of our for loop, we know that our hair is gone. We'll go ahead and get our item. We're going to clone it. So I'm going to say cloned item equals item clone and then we we have to unanchor the handle so I'll say cloned item dot handle uh, anchored whoops anchored equals false and then we're going to get the humanoid and we'll add accessory and that's going to be the cloned item cool beans. Let's give it a try. I'll, I'll shrink that down so we can get it all on one page there. You can do a screenshot if you need to copy it. Let's go over to our flat terrain. We'll do a play and we'll try out our hair. Boom, we got hair. Cool. So let's go ahead and do the backpack because that's a little different. Before I turn this game off, I'm going to look at my player, Simtech Gamer 7. I'm going to go and look under my upper torso. Upper torso has a body front attachment and a body back attachment. This is the one I want, right? So I'm going to get this name because that's what we have to name our attachment because our backpack's not going to have an attachment on it. So I'm going to do a control C. And I just got to remember not to, not to mess up my copy there. All right, here's my hair stand. I'm going to turn collisions off. I'm going to do a control D to duplicate in place. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to call this hair stand. I'm going to call this backpack stand. Cool. I'm going to open it. I'm going to get rid of the item, which is the hair. Then I'm going to go to my toolbox. I'm going to get a backpack. Backpack. And we'll get this tactical backpack. There we go. Maybe we'll turn it so it's facing the front. Good. Move it in place a little bit. And move it up a little bit. All right, so tactical backpack, I'm just gonna call this item. That way I don't have to change my script much. I'm gonna drag it down to my backpack stand. I'm gonna open this. Remember, I want my handle to be anchored, it already is. That way it'll float like that. And look at that, ah, oh, no attachment. So we're gonna have to do that. Let's hit the plus sign, hit an A, and it adds an attachment. But remember, we need to call this body back attachment. That's why I copied it so I wouldn't spell it wrong. All right, now it just adds it in the center. 
And we don't know that if it's actually oriented the right way, we could put the backpack on in any which direction. I'm going to move this back a little bit. There we go. That's the attachment. That's why I moved it back. I'll poke it through a little bit. All right, now we don't know if this backpack is on, if this attachment is, is oriented correctly, so we're going to try it. But first, let's look at our script. We have to make one modification to the script. In here, notice I kept everything consistent with the names, but not that. Let's do a control V because I have that still in my buffer, body backpack attachment. Now it'll pop on. There we go. And boom. So there's the backpack. It's actually inside me. That's no good. We need to flip it around, right? How do we do that? Let's go to our attachment, our body back attachment. And then I'm just going to go to the orientation of that. I'm going to flip it 180 degrees on the Y. So I'll do 180. When I hit enter, it actually changes it to negative 180. That's fine because 180 and negative 180 are the same on a circle. Now let's try it again. So I flipped my attachment. Boom, now it's on my back. Perfect. Cool. And we can put our hat on. And that's how you're going to do it with, uh, with glasses, with everything else. You can go through the accessories. Many of them will have the proper attachment. But now you know if they don't, you know how to put them on. You can start playing around with it. Just go through your character and start looking for different attachments. You can always Google this too, right? So like on the upper torso for that little rat thing that I have, um, if I look, I have a left collar attachment. That's what that's connected to. All right, so hopefully this is helpful and I will see you in the next video.